Every day there are stories of people beating the odds. Today we bring you the story of the first couple to climb the highest mountain on every continent, the Seven Summits. Susan Urschler is here to tell us about her journey. She's just written a book called Together on Top of the World. Welcome to the show, Susan. Thank you, thank you. So you've worked in the corporate world for more than 20 years. Right. What made you want to climb mountains too? Well, when I was 35 years old, I met my husband, and my husband is an international mountain mm -hmm. guide. And so he got me into it, and after the first mountain, you stand on the summit, and it's that sense of accomplishment. Yeah, and, and that can really be translated into the working world, right? So what lessons have you learned from mountain climbing that you can uh, translate into success at the workplace? Yeah, definitely. And, you know, I really boil it all down to three Ps, project, mm -hmm. prepare, persevere. We use that in climbing and we use it in business, but project, project your future, have a mm -hmm. real clear vision where you're going, put a plan together, mm -hmm. and then persevere. Pain, it is going to be painful, but mm -hmm. if you can work through the pain, pain's temporary. Mm -hmm. What do you think that uh, are some of the biggest challenges that exist in the workplace that people struggle to overcome? Uh, boy, one is is being able to have a life, mm -hmm. to be able to work the amount of hours and the high pressure and the high expectations, mm -hmm. and then to fit all that in to be very good, be a top performer, but mm -hmm. also to be able to go after our personal dreams. Mm -hmm. So to be able to find that time, and what and the way that I found that to work was to have extreme focus. Mm -hmm. Every day I had two objectives, 29,035 feet the top of Everest and a $300 million revenue objective. Yeah, and you met those both. Now how exactly did you do that? I mean, for example, you climbed stairs in your office building to, to train <laughs> for your mountain climbing, right? That's right, that's right. And what we did is we would schedule it in. And what I would do every morning is I asked myself, what activity associates with one of those two goals and if it doesn't get rid of it outsource it delegate it don't mm -hmm. do it and so and then schedule it into the calendar if it's important working out was extremely important so mm -hmm. I'd schedule into my calendar a date with the stairwell 30 mm -hmm. 32 stories and climbing up and down with a weighted pack on my back mm -hmm. what are some of the lessons that you've learned from climbing uh, these mountains in seven continents one of the big ones was when I set out to climb Mount McKinley, mm -hmm. highest mountain in North America. And I was very new to climbing at the time. And it's very massive, mm -hmm. very concerning. You're heavy pack and you're pulling a heavy sled. Mm -hmm. I wanted to turn around the first day mm -hmm. because it was, I couldn't even move. It was too heavy. Mm -hmm. But my husband assured me, he's like, we're only climbing to the first camp. Then we're going to set up camp and sleep. Next day we're going to do the same thing, set up camp and sleep and then climb for a day. So it's taking the mountain in pieces. Mm -hmm. Same with business, right? It's like, it's overwhelming when we look at the entire vision. Mm -hmm. But So we've got to break it down to something manageable piece that we can work on today. And I think one important lesson that we all have to learn is to adapt to our environment that yes. we find ourselves in. How do you do that mentally? Because it's kind of hard to admit that you're wrong. Yes, it is, it is. And I think what you remind me of also is, with that is I never saw myself as a climber, but I needed to. And so I had to adapt to that environment. Mm -hmm. And it, it is a, it's a challenge to do it. Well, but, mentally, but we need what do you to. tell yourself to force yourself you to do it? You know, ceremony? I just see myself in that position. Mm -hmm. What I do is well before I get there, I do a lot of visualization. Mm -hmm. So I keep a summit picture of Everest. I keep a, a picture of um, being on stage, being recognized mm -hmm. for top performance at work, going mm -hmm. to President's Club, whatever that happens to be, being mm -hmm. the top CEO, mm -hmm. you know, keeping that vision in mind. Okay. And that's how I do that right. and just see it before I get there. Great advice. Thank you so much for sharing it with Thank us. Thank you. Susan Urschler, she's the author of a new book, Together on Top of the World.